Hello, John here, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing for the Blind Android Users podcast of the Blind Shell Classic 2. The folks over at Blind Shell USA were kind enough to send us a review unit, and I received it a few days ago, so I'm excited to share it with you. I'll go ahead and get started. So I have the box right here. And it didn't seem to have any tape or anything on it, so I'm just going to take the top off. And we have the phone on top here. So, I'll save that for last, of course. I'm just going to set it aside, see what else we have in here. So, there seems to be two compartments. I'm going to open the first one. So this is not going to be your typical unboxing because this is actually a large box. It comes with a lot of goodies, which is rare these days. So first thing I'm, I have here is a lanyard. If you're into that sort of thing, I'm not, but it's an option. Um, I am into this. This is a cradle for charging the phone. You simply sit it in there and it plugs into the bottom through USB-C. On the back of it is a USB-C port, I'm assuming, that you just plug your charger into. So that's cool. That's all in that section. I'll open this other one. And of course we have the power cable. It's USB-C to USB-A. We also have earbuds here. So they're 3.5 millimeters. So obviously this one has a headphone jack and it looks like there is an inline mic and controls. There's one button, so probably just play and pause controls on there. Or answer an end phone calls, I'm assuming. What do you know? A power brick in the box. <laughs> so it's just your typical type A charging brick. Um, probably not too fast, but um, the battery isn't that large in this phone anyway, so... It should pro I'm assuming it'll charge fast enough. Looks like here we have something that's got doubles. Is it double sided? Yeah, double stick. So I'm assuming it's like a a way the a way to mount the um, charger if you want it to stay still, not slide around. The uh, charging cradle, I should say. And then we have a pretty thick manual. Uh, I don't know if I have it right side up or not, but I'm assuming it's large print, although I can't see it because it's a pretty thick book. Um, and we also have some NSC tags, I'm assuming because they're little stickers, and I know that's a feature this phone has, it has NFC and it lets you label items around the house if you want to um, digitally, so it comes with three of them. And then there's another small piece of paper in here, maybe a quick start guide or something. So that is everything but the phone. I'm going to get that out of the picture. And now I'm going to take the phone, the phone, I should say, out of this phone little holder. And I'll just go ahead and describe it to you. So it's light, it's small, it's, it's smaller than your typical smartphone as far as height and width but it's thicker than your typical smartphone. Um, I'm assuming, although it's been a while, 
It's about the size of like a candy bar phone from like the 90s, or I guess even early 2000s. But um, it's it's not as, I don't think it's as thick as those used to be. So um, it's, build quality feels okay. I don't know if you can hear this or not. It's sort of, it's a little creaky, but I mean, it's plastic and it has a removable back. So that's pretty typical. So I'll just describe the device to you. I'll start with the front. So on the front, the top half or top two thirds are a screen. It seems to be plastic from the sound and feel of it. Could be wrong there, I'm not sure, but it doesn't really matter because it's not a touch screen, so I'm not gonna be touching it. Um, and then I'll just describe the buttons to you. So below the screen, there is two rows of three buttons, and then under that is just your standard keypad. So the first row of buttons are an action button, a up button, and another action button. So there's a left action, a right action, and then there's an up button in the middle. So the second row will be to the left is the confirm button, in the middle is the down button, and to the right is the back button. And just to describe the textures of them, the, conf the uh, action buttons have bumps on them, just little small bumps. The up and down keys have a horizontal line on them. The confirm button has a larger bump, more of a circle, and the back key has sort of a diagonal line on it. And it, you know, there's a typical keypad under all that, you know, one through nine, and then on the bottom, star, zero, pound. And the only thing that has any texture to it is the number five, which has a raised, a small raised bump on it. So now along the top, on the left side, we have a headphone jack. And to the right, on the top, we have a LED. So that's the LED that the flashlight is going to use when you have the flashlight turned on. On the right side, there's just one button. It's the... Um, Shortcut button, so it lets you bring up your favorite apps, or if you press and hold it, it'll let you do voice control. On the left side, you have the volume keys. So, very clicky. Um, on the bottom, you have, on the left side, I think is where you connect the lanyard if you want to use it. In the center is the USB-C um, port. And to the right is a little place where you can put your nail in to pull off the back cover. So it seems the uh, speaker is down here on the front. It's not f downward firing, it's forward firing. So um, now the back of it has, on the, on the top left, I think is the flash, the LED flash for the camera. And to the right of that, right in the center, is the camera lens. Below that is a button, the SOS button. And that's all that's on the back. So that's just an overview of the device. So next I'm going to show you how to insert your SIM card and your micro SD card if you're using one. So I have the phone face down now. I'm going to use put my nail in the bottom left corner to pry this off. Set it aside. And so you can feel once you have the back off, most of it is battery. So it goes basically all the way up until right under the SOS button. And along the top side of the battery, Oh, near the right edge, there's a place where you can sort of grab onto it with your nail and pull it up. So I'm going to pull it up from there. Set the battery aside. And now you'll 
notice, and you can feel this, there's three places in here to put your cards. To the left is Sim 1, to the center is Sim 2, and all the way to the right, the smaller section is for the micro SD card. And I was surprised to find that this actually uses micro SIM cards, not nano SIM cards. And I think it's been a while since I've had a phone, almost 10 years since I've had a phone that had a micro SIM. So I actually had to get an adapter, but I'm gonna show you how to insert the SIM card and the micro SD card. So I have them over here somewhere. All right, here we go. So here's my SIM card. I have a nano SIM inserted into an adapter that is the shape of a micro SIM. What you're going to want to do is put it in with the cut corner. So it's a rectangle, but one of the corners is cut so that it doesn't have a point on it. And make sure that cut corner is to the top left when you put it in here. And once you get it in, you slide it up under that sort of metal, I'm assuming it's metal bar thing, and just slide it up until it doesn't slide up anymore. It won't snap or click or anything, but you'll know it's all the way in when it stops going any further. And now for the micro SD card, this goes all the way to the right, and you're gonna wanna make sure the contacts are away from you and facing down, which means the raised lip is going to be to toward you and facing up. So once I put that in its slot and slide that up, you'll hear that click into place. It's got a little spring-loaded thing, so it'll come back a little bit, but it'll be locked into place. Then you simply replace the battery, put the side closest to you in first, and then let the side near the top of the phone fall into place. It kind of snaps. And then you put the cover back on and just go around the edges and make sure that it is snapped all around the edges. Well, that's just a quick unboxing and um, overview of the device itself. Later on, I will get into showing you how to use it and do a review of it and share my thoughts with you. So stay tuned for that and thank you for listening.